Breaking news out of Waikiki, after a barrage of gunfire, two men rushed to the hospital, one in extremely critical condition, the other a Honolulu police officer. Good morning, everyone. I'm Mahia Lani Richardson. It is 6.30 this morning. We've been following this breaking news all morning long. We'll get to Cam Tran and the weather in just a moment. But first, let's go live to KITV4's Ryan Kalesuji, who is at that scene on the Alawai Boulevard near Lure Street. Ryan, what can you tell us? Well, we're still waiting to get more information about what exactly happened. As you can see behind me, police are continuing on with the investigation of what happened this morning here on the intersection of Lures and uh, Alawai Boulevard when police uh, were in pursuit of a man in that blue truck. We're being told he's around uh, in his 30s and is in extremely critical condition after resisting arrest from police uh, and ramming into the police cars that you can currently still see on the site right now as police continue to investigate this. Police then open fire and uh, shot at the man who again was taken to the Queens Medical Center in extreme critical condition. Now there was also a police officer that was injured in this. He is also uh, in he's also in the hospital in stable condition uh, and traffic at this point in time has backed up because of this incident that happened just at about four o'clock this morning. Now the Alawai Boulevard is completely backed up. We can tell you this right now as traffic is now being rerouted down Lewis Street. But the situation is that there is also uh, some investigation going on on Kohio Avenue. So there is a portion of Kohio Avenue between uh, Noho the Honani Street and Wailina Street that is also closed. So those people in Waikiki are basically having to do a, tra a, 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 a figure eight around this traffic jam. Uh, and it, it's really slow going for those who live in the Waikiki area. So it's advised for people to maybe just go on down to Kalakaua and co connect to Kapuhulu to avoid this whole section altogether. Now the reason why that portion of Kohio Avenue is closed near Neho Street is because that is where this incident is believed to have started when uh, police were in pursuit of this man in his in this blue truck and resisted the arrest at that time which ultimately led them here to where the crime scene is currently ended here at the intersection of Alawai and Lures. We can tell you right now that Keith Kaneshiro, the prosecutor, just arrived on the scene as well, and police are continuing to investigate. They say that they are not expected to release a statement until possibly later this afternoon because of the fact that it involved gunfire with uh, police. They're going to have to go through a complete internal investigation as well as go through and piece through what exactly happened here uh, on Alawai Boulevard. So as you can imagine, uh, traffic is very tight right now for those trying to get out of Waikiki. Brian, obviously Waikiki very crowded and a lot of witnesses heard the barrage of gunfire. You talked to a witness. What did that person have to say? Well, we spoke to her earlier in the newscast and she said that uh, she actually witnessed the entire situation happening and unfolding in front of her eyes when that truck uh, began going back and forth, she described, after being barricaded between the cop cars. Now, the interesting thing is police... Uh, drew their guns and uh, directed the man in the vehicle to stop. However, he continued to uh, hit and pursue the, the cars in front of him and uh, strike the vehicles in front of him uh, even when the police had pulled out their guns and at which time she, she described hearing five to seven gunshots at that time towards that vehicle, which again you can see still here on the Alawai Boulevard. Thank you for that live report from the Alawai.